you know, I am not one to do a lot of live video, but I'm learning that that's a thing to do. Um, not because I'm resistant to technology, except I just don't necessarily like being totally front and center on the um, video every day. I like to interview people, and then we mostly cut out pe cut out me, and we keep everybody else in there. Um, and I like it that way. But I just, over the last couple of days, have just been, last week and a half really, just have been overwhelmed by the positivity that people show. And in the last two weeks, I've watched people from healthcare to grocery to public safety to shipping, teachers, utility companies, the people that are running your power and telephone and internet. I mean, how gosh darn important the internet is right now. There's a lot of us that, A, we wouldn't be in business for people like me, and B, like how great a resource is it for connecting and sharing resources, whether at the state level, at the city level, and nonprofits and businesses and companies. And we've probably had 150 messages or emails or notices or press releases or live streams sent to us in the last week from every business, from the people that clean your office or your home to the people that take care of your really sick elderly patients that are vulnerable right now at every hospital throughout the region. So um, electronic communication allows all of those people to connect and share smart resources, where to be safe, where you can actually still go out and get pick up food um, to and all the rest of those people are doing. So, you know, thank you, Al Gore for the internet. Um, that's huge. Uh, Netflix, you know, who would have known that that was like the thing to keep people going um, during a time like this where 10 years ago it wasn't even around. Uh, along with restaurant carryout, delivery drivers, manufacturers of food, medicine, safety products, um, we depend on you. Everybody depends on you. If you think about the people at the grocery store, those people at Strax are just working their tail off and trying to do it with crazy supply situations where they got tons of stuff coming in, but it's going out the door so fast and people are really want to just have it like right now, immediately in two seconds. And it's just mind boggling the number of challenges they probably have, plus some of their own people being off and trying to keep social distance and wiping down the store 20 times a day. Like it's, it's crazy to think of how much their business is being impacted when you think about how well they're doing what they do with all of those considerations. Um, you think about people, healthcare, it, it's just, we're all shouting about them. We're putting hearts on our windows. We're doing, you know, empathy inside, everything we possibly can do and hoping that they're protecting themselves as well as they possibly can outside. But I've got a daughter that works at a hospital. Like it's scary as heck to know the vulnerability that they're putting themselves in all on our behalf. Um, so shout outs to the hospital, shout outs to the clinic, shout outs to the everybody from the VNA to the nursing homes to private care, you know, the docs we work with, like everybody, dentists or orthodontists, whatever it is. Um, every one of them is making giant alterations to what they do, but ultimately making sure they're still there for you if you absolutely need them. Uh, you could debate for 5,000 hours whether any one leader, federal, state, local, county, executive, township, everything, is doing a perfect job. I'll just give them all a basket of credit because they're all doing the best job that they possibly can at this particular time, and none of us were prepared for this. So I don't care if you're a county council person or a um, mayor or a governor or a senator or a township executive, whatever the heck you are, I commend the hell out of you for doing what you're doing because none of us were ever prepared for this. So whatever you're doing, could it be absolutely perfect? I, I, I don't, not aware of anybody that that's possible. So I think overall, top to down, top to bottom, 
they're doing as good of a job as they possibly can and they have people around them that are making sure the ultimate good job is being done wherever it's being done. It's the last time in the world to argue about it. It's the most best time in the world to just say, thank you for whatever you're doing. And let's all privately, personally, help support everything we can that whatever those groups are doing. But all of those people, they're doing the best job they possibly can. And you're not in their shoes. I'm not in their shoes. So I just say anybody that's still doing what they're doing, commend you, good job. Um, the, volunteer, the number of volunteers of help care, pickup, child care, delivery, meal, services, support, resources, breakfast bags, lunches for students. Um, open up your Facebook page. Honestly, it's, it's maybe one of the best uses of social media ever in terms of the volume of messages of people sharing something that's positive. Laporte schools, again, off the charts, um, doing things to have kids film video segments and then share them with others. Um, you got the, you know, the Penn High School volleyball program, just a really cool video uh, of kids popping a video, uh, popping a volleyball along. Um, all of them individual clips, none of them together whatsoever, but some student or teacher that's really creative, got them all to do a little clip of them popping the ball to the next one. And then the next one is at their house and on and on and again, I, I could give you a thousand examples, like literally just open up a news feed on whatever it is that you're watching and choose the headlines that relate to something that somebody's doing something good or informative or correct about this and your feed over time actually changes. But I'll close it all out by just saying if you're, you're everybody's nervous. I can't imagine anybody that's not nervous. Um, old people are nervous. Obviously I'm starting to get that way. Um, older people are even more nervous. Moms are nervous, dads are nervous, kids are nervous. Kids are way more nervous than I think most people um, take seriously. But they're nervous because their world's all messed up. They're not seeing their friends, they're not at school, their patterns, their routines, their consistency, their ability to focus on what we think are meaningless concerns like does that boy or girl like me or does my hair look good or, you know, did I do good at that exam or at the last game performance, um, which we think are real small things in our world every day. They're, that's the big things in their world. And right now the big things in their world are none of those things. And they're all things that mostly adults tend to think about. And I think we can all understand that whether your kids, in my case, are 21 or 36, um, and a couple in between there, they're, everybody's nervous. Um, there's a reason for everybody to be unsettled. I think a lot of common sense has prevailed and the number of people that wash their hands and use wipes and antibacterial soap and, you know, sanitizer and keep six feet away and wipe out down doorknobs and do all the things that they're supposed to be doing is I think pretty darn great. Are there examples of people that are numb nuts doing something wacky? Um, yeah, but honestly, the preponderance of people I know and I'm aware of and I watch online connected to a million people. So, I mean, not a million, I'm just saying connecting to loads of people. I tend to see what a lot of people are doing and they're mostly doing pretty smart things. And so, for all those that, there's a lot of headlines out there and there's a lot of stories you can read. And I guess what I would like to assure everybody is I think I probably read more stories and headlines and posts as anybody in the region and probably most normal people. I just like to consume information. So I see what the township people are doing and I see what the Y is doing and I see, I, see, I watch what everybody's doing. And I'll tell you, that's thousands of things just here. And like almost every single one of them is good. And that's sort of a trend. So when you see stocks going like this or this or whatever it is, like the trend right now of people being nice, 
good, helpful, uh, positive, supportive, careful, mindful, empathetic, giving. It's like, oh God, be a thousand to one or more. So I, I'm not here to tell anybody we never, we're not a scientific journal. We don't communicate in any, you know, we're, we're trying to pass press releases off um, from appropriate government organizations and, and medical organizations. I'm not here to tell you anything about percent of people that get sick or what's the science behind all this. We're just trying to remind you that there's a lot of good that's happening every day, everywhere, all the time. It has been for 11 years since we started this. We're buried this week. We got a team of people all working full support, just like we always do. There's no change whatsoever. We're just not in the building. Um, I get the office to myself for a couple weeks and these people are doing their darndest to tell you the story about the 19 cars that come do a parade for a 12 year old because he can't have them at a physical party right now about the teachers and the moms and dads that are driving through the neighborhood in Portage to um, shout out all the other kids, the number of people that are putting messages on their sidewalk, the number of people that are putting together directories to help businesses exchange information, the number of people that are volunteering, the number of people that are on the front lines, the number of people, the, the, the guy at the smoothie place that gives you a, a shot of something healthy and a little bit extra, whatever it is in the smoothie. Um, and they just, everybody wants to keep everybody going. So the volume of support, I'll close it all off with, is astronomical. And are there headlines that you gotta follow to make sure that you're safe and secure and they can tell you exactly what the ongoing situation is? Yeah, and we'll try to bring those to you. And we posted a ton of them over the last week, whenever we can. But our primary gig is to help you all see what we all see every day, all day long, seven days a week. And it's been like that forever. And it hasn't changed literally a bit other than in the past week and a half, it's probably gotten to be about 150% of what it normally is, or maybe 200% of what it normally is. And that's people doing good things for good people. They have good end results, and it actually makes you feel good when you read about it. So I think now more than ever, this notion, as we celebrate our 11th birthday this week from Valpa Life, um, I give a shout out to all those people that have been with us since the very beginning, um, when this idea made no sense whatsoever. I give tons of shout outs to those people that along those 11 years have jumped on board and said, I like what you do and I want you to keep doing it. And I think you could help us. Um, and I thank like crazy the readers that have said, yeah, I think, I think that's cool. And I'll come back and I'll check it out again. And I'll look at her by your pics. I'll read your stories. I'll share your stuff on Twitter. I'll go to your events. I'll, I'll read, I'll pay attention. I will actually like and support great news. So thank you all. There's my little uh, pitch about the positivity that exists everywhere around you, if you just look for it. Thanks much, hope you're all doing well. Stay tuned.